My name is Brett Smith, Fire Behavior Analyst here with uh, PNW Team 6. Uh, the primary spread um, on this fire, or the majority of the spread, has happened during weather events. Uh, typically a cold front passage or a, say a thunderstorm with, with outflow winds, um, but it, it, it's a weather event of some kind. Uh, in between those events, it's been uh, moderate growth. Um, the fire behavior has been low enough to allow firefighters to do work on it. And, uh, but then when these weather events come through, uh, then we see the, uh, you know, the significant fire growth, potential extreme fire behavior. Um, until, until the fuels receive some moisture, an adequate moisture, uh, the potential for that spread is going to be there. Um, so between now and when the, when the uh, you know, season ending event, whether that be rain or snow for, for significant days, uh, any time a weather event comes through, uh, typically with wind, uh, such as a cold front passage, uh, any time a weather event like that happens, uh, there could be significant fire growth in whatever direction the, uh, the wind blows as long as, as, long as the, uh, there are unburned fuels available to it. Um, the days, of, of course, are getting shorter. The amount of time that the sun is, is uh, you know, above the horizon is, uh, is shorter. Um, I had a, a local person here tell me that uh, this, this area, location in Colorado uh, loses 90 minutes of time during the month of September. And, and so the days get shorter quicker. Um, also, the sun angle, uh, the sun gets lower in the sky. And so it's not, uh, it doesn't have as intense heating over, over a larger area. It's more focused to the southern aspects or, the, or those slopes that face the southern sky. Those are the slopes that get the, uh, uh, more of the full sun and the, and the heating there. Uh, and the north slopes get less. What that does in turn is it shortens, typically will shorten the burn period. We talk about season slowing or, or season ending. Um, in this case, for the Cameron Peak Fire, uh, they're probably gonna be one and the same because uh, that's what's gonna, you know, the weather, what kind of weather conditions would, would slow this fire or stop this fire. And, and really what it's gonna come down to is time. And this fire has already seen uh, different periods of precipitation, including, you know, several inches of snow in places and, and within a few days, the snow was gone, and, if, and within five days of drying after that, the fire became active again. And really, the, the critical factor in the precipitation that the fire has seen is it, it hasn't lasted very long, or it hasn't lasted long enough. Main driver of the fuel, I'd say at least a week, is what it would take. Uh, and that could be rain, uh, significant humidity, uh, of course, snow, um, but it needs to be available to the fuels for more than just a couple of days. The smoke definitely could be visible you know, to the public in the area uh, when they're back in the area and, and can see that. Um, so it's a, it's a large, large fire over a large area. Uh, there's over you know, 250 miles of perimeter. Um, so there's uh, definitely potential for smoke production for a long time.